Hi all, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do your daily vibes for Saturday, May 26th. So this is for all signs, daily vibes, Saturday, May 26th. What do we have for messages for today? What do I need to say? Please, please, please give me the accurate messages for these people that I am about to read for today. Oh, mm. two of cups reversed. There could be some disharmony. There could be some disconnection or dissatisfaction within a relationship. Somebody could be coming to terms with some sort of incompatibility. There could be some un unhappiness in a partnership, okay? This could even be a divorce on the horizon or an ending of a relationship. I mean, that's what this is. Somebody could end up alone. The Nine of Pentacles, okay? Somebody could end up on their own, you know? Uh, somebody could be leaving a relationship and, you know, be forced to take care of themselves. Or they may want to take care of themselves. They may be like, you know, I don't need these arguments anymore. I really don't. I don't, I don't need this fighting. I don't need this uh, imbalance in my life. I'd rather be alone. I don't want to be in any third party situations. I'm not happy here. You could have discovered that you were in a relationship and the other person was involved with somebody else. So you're like, hell no. Uh-uh. I'm not interested. If I'm not the only one, then I don't need to be involved. So, uh, yeah. Somebody may, be, may have been involved in, with somebody that they thought, you know, it was great. And then they discovered that there was another person and it didn't make them very happy. So they probably decided that, you know what, I'm not looking for no three-way party. Nope. Two is good, three is not. I'm not involved. I don't want to be involved with, with that. So somebody is deciding to move on. They are. To, to, I demand respect. I do. Somebody is like, I, I deserve respect. This is disrespectful to me. If you're not going to respect me, then I ain't going to respect me. Somebody has acted disrespectfully to you. It's like they were, um, oh God, what's the word? Oh, I can't think of it. Son of a bitch. It's right there. Oh, wow. Well, maybe it will come to me. Um, whoever this person is that has caused the unhappiness in your life brought also brought a lot of mental conflict. They kept you trapped. They kept you stuck. They caused um, mental turmoil. But it feels like you are you're you're moving out of the situation. You're 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 doing the right thing. It's like I need to get out of here. Somebody is deciding to, or whether they're leaving you or you're leaving them, somebody is demanding respect by walking away from a I think it's a third party situation. Okay? That's what it looks like to me. Yeah, somebody is ending a relationship. The death underneath the two of cars, I'm ending it. I'm ending it. I, I don't need to be involved. I deserve more. I can take care of myself a hell of a lot better and be a lot happier on my own than dealing with this. Somebody didn't respect you. That's what I see. There was no respect here. Yeah, and it hurt, didn't it? Somebody has caused a lot of hurt and a lot of suffering and a lot of grief in your life. It's like you have been stabbed right in the heart by this person. 
Oh, king of pentacles, king of coins, you know, and you may just be deciding, you know, I'm going to focus on my job. I'm going to focus on my work. I'm going to focus on everything but love at this time because I don't have time to play games with people who don't really want a one-on-one -on -one relationship. Okay? It feels as though whatever you were dealing with wasn't any fun. It wasn't any fun. It was at first. It was a lot of fun at first, but then it turned into heartache real fast, real fast. And it feels like you were lied to. <laughs> the Justice card reversed. I'm going to get this zoomed in. There's been some dishonesty here. You're dealing with a liar. I'm sorry. Somebody is dealing with a liar. Somebody that doesn't want to be held accountable. Somebody who doesn't treat others fairly. Doesn't respect who you are. Doesn't care if they hurt you. Uh, is already in a commitment. I feel like you were dealing with somebody who was already committed to somebody else. They weren't really committed to you. Or something like that. Or they were committed to you. But was messing around with somebody else, you know, because it can go vice versa. It can go so many different ways. We're all at different points on our journey. But May 26 is about somebody is is contemplating, or they are going to. This is the death. When, Like I explained in a private reading right before I did this. Right before I did this, I did a private reading. And I had got done telling her that it's dead. Her, their relationship is dead. And then this card came out. No shit. It was after I said it. And then this card came out and it fell on my lap. And I said, here it is. When something is dead, it's dead. It's not coming back. It's dead. Some relationship is dead. It hurts. There's regrets. There's suffering. There's grieving. But, in the end, somebody is going to feel more abundant than they have in a really long time because they're going to be able to enjoy the little things again. They're no longer going to need to deal with the disharmony and the incompatibility. You know what I mean? They're going to start to feel really, really good and abundant with who they are through this suffering. True su suffering brings growth. So I feel like somebody is going to come out of this situation happier than they were before. So that's good. I see victory and success after suffering. I mean, this is victory and success after the suffering. But I feel, feel like there's going to be a period of time where I don't, I'm not looking for love at this time. I'm going to work on my my job, I'm going to work on my career, I'm going to work on my business, I'm going to work on everything but love. I think today is the day where you let go of a relationship for good, it's dead, it's over. And you start to enjoy life as it, as it is on your own. And you go after what you deserve and you demand respect. And you listen to your inner guide and you start to believe in yourself again and follow your own path. Many of you are going to go through a period of soul searching. It feels as though you were dealing with a situation where you were dealing with a liar. And it feels as though you decide to find the faith inside of yourself the faith and the, the faith and the confidence to move out of this situation to group to progress upon your life path on your own somebody is moving forward out of a situation where they found out the truth about i think a third party situation that's what it looks like to me third party situation doesn't always always have to be sexual Okay, it can be, but it doesn't always have to be. It could be an, a meddler. Three is a crowd. Synchronicity. 
Are you noticing the signs of synchronicity that the spirit world has been sending to you at this time? People and situations in your life are just not appearing by coincidence. In reality, they're being guided to you from the spirit world to help you for a specific reason. Everything happens for a reason. And that is what this says. So whatever is happening is meant to be. It wasn't a coincidence. Whatever you're, it also, your inner guide, this is the Hierophant card represented by the sign of Taurus. Um, whatever you are thinking, your inner guide is saying, it's the truth. This is the, this is the Hierophant. So this is, whatever is going on right now, whatever your inner guide, whatever your intuition is telling you is the truth. It is the truth. So who, whatever, whoever you think is lying, you know it. You know it. Okay? Whatever is happening, pay attention to the signs. This card doesn't say that, but I'm telling you. There is no coincidences at this time. Use your inner guide to decipher the little things. Okay? Things that are happening are giving you signs as to what is I believe that there is some a lot of hurt here that has caused a, a relationship, a partnership to end and, and push somebody out on their own and it leads to victory and success for that person in abundance and in prosperity after a hell of a lot of hurt and suffering. True suffering brings true growth. You know, there could be some possible legal, legal matters that come up because of this split. Just just beware, okay? Um, somebody, you're dealing, there is a liar in the mix, so beware. Somebody is telling lies. Talk to you later.